Welcome to part one of a series of videos highlighting the construction of Cleveland Metro Park Zoo's newest capital project, African Elephant Crossing. Set to open in 2011, this $25 million project will create a world-class elephant habitat and conservation center that quadruples the size of the zoo's previous elephant exhibit. Modeled after African savannas, the new exhibit will offer a naturalistic habitat for up to 10 elephants at a time and allow for future breeding. Artisans from Semrock, a Tucson-based company specializing in artificial exhibit elements, use their skills to create 13-foot planters that resemble African mud banks. Once filled with vegetation, these planters will provide shade for the elephants and add aesthetic value. This is one of the planters against the outside of the building. What it's doing is, it's giving a natural element to the savanna range. It's serving a couple purposes. One is, it gives the elephants a little bit of shade. Um, some of these overhangs, they'll be able to stand underneath and be shaded by that. It's uh, about 13 feet tall, so it becomes an elephant barrier against the building, so it's protecting the building from the elephants. And they're making it look like a natural mud bank, but it's going to contain dirt and we're going to use it as a planter. So 13 feet in the air, we'll be planting very large, very large trees. Hi guys! You can go anywhere you want, huh? You just gotta get bottle releases and these guys ain't cheap. Doing a texture coat on the uh, center planter in the Savannah Range. Uh, the texture is mud bank, uh, and we just applied some shot grease with color. And right now we uh, are getting the initial shapes, and then we will carve this and give it the finite detail. We started from the layout on the ground, and uh, you know the Bruce guys they excavated. We put the rebar in. We did all the shape. We put all the backing, we shot all the structure, and now we're carving it. <laughs> but we have help. I mean, it's not just, you know, us two, but... We have reference photos, and uh, from what the zoo requested, they had to take some pictures of some places in Africa, and uh, we look at those colors and the shapes and, and the kind of earth and the textures, and then we copy that. It's <laughs> with the planter is going to continue to that point stops at the door where the elephant comes out and then there's going to be another planter pick up at the corner of the wooden wall that you see over here and what's going on right now is they're forming they're putting up forms to pour a concrete retaining wall that retaining wall is hiding the service yard and creating a back wall for another planter where we're going to have trees planted way up in the air again African elephant crossing will also include an aviary comprised of trees a waterfall and of course, colorful birds. We're on the edge of the village, and this is gonna be the aviary. The aviary is gonna be up against the building. It's not a walkthrough, you're gonna look into this aviary, but it's a net structure, comes off the edge of the building and drops down. There's a waterfall, a little water feature inside of this aviary that Semrock has to come over and do. And then as it moves around to this corner over here, uh, there's another retaining wall that goes up to uh, well, up to 13 feet in the end. Kind of like a big hill that comes right down around and it's going to look like a natural feature around the corner of the building. One of the key features of African Elephant Crossing will be the pool at the north end of the exhibit. Elephants will be able to cool off by wading or swimming in the pool directly in view of zoo visitors. We're in the savanna range where the elephants will be standing. And so what we're looking at here is the north pool, what we call the north pool. Um, this is the side the elephants are going to enter from. So the gunite work that we just saw inside by the planter, that same crew did all of this. Now if you look around this pool, you see the rocks that are jutting up out of the, out of the water all look very finished. Those are actually carved, done, painted. All of the streaking you see is finished. Uh, the trellis we see at the front, um, that's where the uh, visitors are going to be standing. Uh, right underneath that trellis and right up to the, the timbers that are closest to us, the vertical timbers that are closest to us, that's where the railing's going to be. Um, just in front of that, you see a little bit of space and then that kind of white plain. There's going to be water on that with water plants back against the public railing. And then the deep hole in front of that is the swim channel. That's as far as the elephants can go. 